pumped you got one of the new green machines. I'm gonna make this as painless and as easy as possible to build. Let's get started. First of all, let's open up this super cool box. It opens up kind of like a fancy shoe box here. Oh yeah. Everything is so beautifully laid out in here. This will make things a little bit easier. You got your QR code to go all the materials, probably to the video you're watching right now. And uh, everything you need to build your green machine should be right here. Let's get everything out, laid on the table, and get started. Now that you've got everything out of that super cool box, get everything laid out and nice and organized, especially uh, your nuts and bolts and the hardware here. Um, these will be the most critical parts of the build. And step one is to grab your wheels and your axles and connect those. So the side of the wheel that has the light ring is the inside. That goes against the frame. And you can see here that the nut that fits into this and then you've got this nut in the washer here. This is the outside. So we're gonna stick that part through, through the light side. And then you've got washer that goes on first and the nut goes on the outside here. And because that has a little nut in there, you can just hang onto this with your hand and use your wrench that is included and tighten that nice and tight. And then just hang on to it with your opposite hand. And then get that nice and tight because this is the nut that holds the wheel on. So that's pretty important there. So once you got the first one done, go to the other one. These two pieces come off. And again, this is going towards the outside. So through the light side, washer on this side followed by and if you can see the nut has a little uh, blue plastic in it that also goes on the outside that's a little bit of teflon to keep this from backing off so it's kind of a thread locker there and again hold that with your opposite hand and give this a tighten it's a handful of turns there we go nice and tight Okay, there you go, step one. And for step two, grab the rear axle part of the chassis here, and these pieces are gonna slide into both these sides, and then you've got four of these M6 bolts, and those are gonna go right into here, and that's what holds the wheels into this part of the chassis. So, we'll start with this side, and if you notice, there are two screw slots on both of these. There's only two that's it, and they line up with the two holes on the chassis. So kind of try and slide those in and matching that up. Try and do it so I can show you as best as possible here. And these are gonna be a little bit firm so that they're nice and sturdy inside the chassis. So if you're working on the floor, you might have to put some oomph into this. Um, and the fact that there is a little bit of friction, do your best to line it up as you slide this down so it doesn't give you trouble later on. Okay. You can see that there's a little notch in the, pla in the metal and this plastic notch fits in there and that helps you line it up. Uh, and this, uh, this is supposed to be a tight fit. So you might need to put it on the floor and um, even put it this way on the floor and give a, a light tap on the axle or just push down this way. Be nice and gentle, because these are some plastic pieces in here. But the goal is to get the two screw holes in the plastic to line up with screw holes in the metal. And then once you've got that, grab two of your bolts, and it should be lined up now, and just start those by hand. And then you're gonna use once again, your trusty Phillips screwdriver here. And if you've got a, a bigger one at home, it might be easier to use than this, but if you don't, this thing's great. And just give those a tighten until these are nice and tight. So I've got these two tight on the first wheel and repeat the process on the other wheel. And once again, you're lining these screw holes up with these on here and the two notches should line up as well. So I will 
eyeball that and then start to press down. And again, you might have to put this on the floor to kind of give it a little more pressure um, or to squeeze this in. Let's see what happens here. And then once you press that in, once again, repeat the process. Just grab these two M6 bolts. Just going to get that started and then get this one started as well. And then I can come in with my screwdriver and tighten these all the way down. And that is the end of step two. So you should have the wheels attached to the axle. Things are spinning nice and freely. You have two bolts on each side. So it should look like this at the end of step two. All right, step three, we're gonna put the steering rods in. I'm gonna make sure that the axle is facing upwards, uh, which means that you have just this single hole on top and not this, this triple is the bottom. And it's really important that you get these steering rods uh, both on the right side, left and right, and then there is a front and back. So each rod is labeled left and right with a little sticker that says L and R and then there's a notch on the back of each one. This little notch goes toward the back of the green machine. And what we're gonna do is grab your left side and tilt the rear axle up and just slip this in like that. Drop that down, repeat that again for the other side. And these might kind of drop out on you so you might need both hands for this. But just like that, and that is step three, super easy. But just make sure that you have the left and right going the right directions. And so they should point inwards just like this. And then that little notch on the steering rod is uh, at the rear. And then for step four, I'm going to move these parts out of the way so you can get a better, better view here. Uh, you should have three of these nuts and bolts left. We want the larger one. Two of them should be identical. And then one is just a little bit bigger. So we want the larger one right now. Put everything else to the side. Grab your big piece here, the frame. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna put this bearing end, it's gonna go right in between here. And this is the main pivot point of the green machine. And then this bolt, you're gonna take the nut off, you're gonna take the washer off, and then this bolt is gonna slip down through everything and the washer and the nut go on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. And be careful not to let these drop out. We'll put that up front, tilt that just a little bit, and you just want to make sure that you line up that hole. And this thing drops down from the center. It's a little bit of a tight fit, so make sure you got everything lined up, but just like that. And then if it's not poking out the bottom, just give it a little bit of a wiggle. You might not be perfectly lined up. Here we go. You not, don't necessarily need to flip it over, but just to show you, so these struts are gonna go all over the place. Then go ahead and put that, put that washer and that nut. And again, make sure that the blue nylon part of the nut is facing out. That is the little thread locker on there. So now that's tight. On one side, you'll use this wrench on the bigger end. And then on the other side, you're going to use this part of the Allen wrench. Uh, so I'll flick, flip it back over just to uh, put the Allen wrench in the top there. And again, while you're watching at home, you don't necessarily need to flip it over, but just to show you, it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so I'll put the wrench on the bottom and the Allen wrench up top. We're just going to cinch that down. And you can give that one a pretty good tighten. There we go. Okay. And should be looking like this. You've got a frame on the front here, two steering struts. So for step five, we're gonna attach these hand controls and we're gonna put on this uh, plastic frame guard in the back. First, scoot this to the side here so you got access to your steering rods. And on the handles, you've got a, a sticker on each side labeled left and right. So make sure you don't put these on backwards. We'll start on the left side. Take the nuts off of this and 
This handle is going to be facing forward. And the first thing we're going to do is pick up the steering rod. You're going to twist the handle outward, put it through the steering rod, and just through that, just like that. And then you're going to have to pick up the frame of the green machine just a little bit and pop that through there. And then you've got a washer and the nut that goes on the outside. And go ahead and tighten those up. And then we'll re repeat that same process on the other side. So again, we'll take this off and you've got your handle, twist it outward, poke it through the steering rod, just like this, pick up the green machine just a little bit. And I've got a wheel hanging off here, so it might be a little tricky for me. Just like that, washer on the outside and the nut. And then make sure you tighten up these nuts nice and snug so none of these controls are falling off while you're out there spinning and drifting. And then grab your plastic cover. This goes on the rear of the frame. Uh, you should have two of these tiny little screws left. Those drop in to these two holes here, and then those go in the very back of your green machine and these two holes here on top of the frame. So I like to drop one in first and then grab your screwdriver and you can kind of peek through these little cutout diamonds here and to see where that screw hole is. And once you line it up, go ahead and get that started just a little bit. So we're doing pretty good there and I will drop in this one as well. A little tip, I think it works a little easier if you attach it to the end of the screw or the screwdriver and kind of hold it with your finger. And then right in there. Okay. And you're moving on step six. Okay, for step six, we're gonna attach the front wheel to the frame and then put the pedals on the cranks here. A uh, little pro tip here, I think it's best if you turn the green machine upside down and do that gently, set it down really gentle on these controls here, let it even out. And, and this is what typically would be the top. This is facing upwards. So now we're gonna go upside down like this. I think it's a little bit easier to assemble this if you're having trouble with this step. I think it's a little easier to back out these two bolts on, or these two screws on the plastic fender and either remove it completely or at least just loosen these up. So let's do that real quick. Okay, I got one side here. And again, yours might go together silky smooth, but if it's giving you trouble and it's just a little tough to hold on your own, go ahead and pull this thing off. It's really easy to put back on. Might cause you a little less frustration. So let's see here. We've got these loose. Again, as always, be sure not to lose these. Okay. And then remember the orientation of what side is up and down. So right now, the only way to know what is the top and the bottom is that the bottom has this notch on it and it matches up with the bottom of the frame here. So now that we can see this, this piece here is gonna go inside of here and then your last two remaining bolts are gonna slide through here and then it's gonna be a washer and a nut. And this is supposed to be a tight fit because this is you know, the center of your frame and this is what is holding up your rider. So just like that, We'll slip a bolt through just like this. And while you're holding it there, take your washer and a bolt, just like that. And then repeat that for the other side. Just like that. And then similar to the previous steps, you're going to take your Allen wrench on that, on the top of that, and then you'll take your wrench again and tighten these up here. So go ahead and do that. And then after that, we'll put that plastic cover back on. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay. Once you've got that, let's flip it back over and put the plastic fender back on. And look at that. It's starting to look like a green machine, right? And I'm going to make sure that you've still got all four screws on here. And those are just going to go right back into these points on the frame. And again, you might not need to take this off. You go ahead and try to put it on with it on there. But just know that uh, it's, it's a little bit easier to line that up if, uh, if you take this off there. And the last part of this step is you're going to put the pedals on. And uh, the most important part of this is to make sure that you're putting the right on the right side and the left on the left. And how do you tell what's right and left? There's two ways. On the ends of the pedal spindle here, you're going to see an R stamped into the metal and an L stamped into this one. The other way is that the left pedal has these grooves on it, or you've even got these stickers on yours that say left and right. So we'll thread the right one on over here. And this is true for all bicycles, that the right pedal spins towards the front of the bike to the right, and the left pedal has the opposite threads, but both pedals always tighten towards the front of the bike. And the left side has an opposite thread, so while you're pedaling, it doesn't spin off. Okay, and you've got this wrench included, but if you've got a bigger, heftier one at the house, go ahead and use that. This is a 15 millimeter wrench. You can use the one that's included to tighten up these pedals. And make sure those are nice and tight. And we are good to go. All right, and we move on to one of the last steps. Step seven is installing the seat and inflating the tire. So let's grab the seat. And you've got three positions of adjustment for the seat here. We'll put it in the largest setting, which is in the back. You can see you've got this little set pin right there. And this just pops in just like that. Okay, and then to adjust it, you've got some buttons over here. You push on the button and that releases it. And then you can put it in the other two settings as well. And then using an air compressor or a standard old bike pump, you're gonna inflate your tire to 40 PSI. And you find the little window here, this clever little cover that slides open to reveal the valve cover. So just take your valve cover off, put your pump on there. Again, put this up, up to 40 PSI. And then when you're done, just slide that cover back and you're good to go. And to activate these super cool lights, flip the green machine over and on the frame, you gotta make sure you pull these tabs out. You've got one in the frame and then you've got them in the wheels too. So make sure you remove these. Then you can go ahead and press your button and give it a little bump and check to make sure that your battery is okay. So if you got that, you're good to go. Okay, one of the last steps is you've got a few extra parts here. You've got these two little plastic buttons left over and they're little oval shapes. Those just cover these screw holes right here on this fender. You can just snap those in like so. And then the other last thing is to take your little reflector decals and there's a couple locations those go. Two of them go on either side of the arms here. So on the left and the right. And then one goes on the very back triangle facing the very back of the green machine. And then the silver one goes up here on the top right there on the fender. So once you've got that all in order and your green machine looks like this, all your bolts are tight, everything's safe and sound, you are ready to drift. Make sure that your young shredder has a nice and safe helmet on and then go hit the streets because these things are so much fun. So I hope I made it as easy as possible to build your green machine. I hope you have a ton of fun with it. Enjoy.